Hello everybody, in this video we're going to set up our programming environment. Alright, so let's get going. The programming environment we're going to use is on replit.com. Why? Well, replit.com is free, it's easy to use, you can do it from any computer, anywhere, and that includes Chromebooks. It's got error detection, and it's really easy to collaborate on it. Here's an example of what error detection looks like. On the first example, there's no error detection, but there's a bug in this code, and that bug is with the print. It should say print, not print. In the second one, here we have error detection, and it underlines my line of code that's bad, so it helps make coding easier. To set up my account, I'm going to open up my browser and go to replit.com. In the upper right, I'll click Login, and to make this easy, I'm just going to log in with my Google account. So here I am, I'm logged in. Next thing I want to do is create a new REPL, so I'll go to the upper right and click the plus. In the template pulldown, I'll want to select Python. And in the title, I can change this if I want. I don't have to. I'll name mine Dr. Wu Videos underscore Python, but you don't have to. And then I'll click Create REPL. Each of these REPLs is a Python programming environment with a whole lot of files associated with it. You can make multiple REPLs, but in this class, we're just going to make one REPL, and that'll hold all of your files. So now to show you how it works, in the center pane, the main.py, I'm going to type a hello world program, and then I'll click the run. And you see in the right pane, it shows the output, which is hello world. The last thing I'm going to do now is something I mentioned really briefly earlier, which is the collaboration part. So in the upper right, there's an invite. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll down to this generate a join link, and I'm going to click on that. I'm going to copy that link, and if you're in my class, you should take this link and put it as a private comment within Google Classroom. Obviously, don't do that if you're not in my class. I had mentioned collaboration earlier, and so now I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to open up another browser with a, a different account, but I'm going to use that join link. I'm going to use that join link, and I'm going to paste it into that browser. So here's kind of how it works. The first account is Dr. Wu, and the second account is Demi Finster. Dimmy Finster, because it's accessing the account through the join link, can write to Dr. Wu's files. So it's as if you're using Google Docs, two people can work on the same document at the same time. This is really useful for your teachers. If they want to help you at night, for instance, or if you're a little bit sick, or if they're a little bit sick, they can type in your programming environment without having to ever touch your keyboard or be next to you. And this is a big reason why we like to use Replit in class. All right, that's pretty much it. Again, if you're in my class, don't forget to copy and paste that join link into the Google Classroom so I'll have it. Hope this was useful to you. If it is, then please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time.